From your favorite band to that streamer you watch every night, it seems everyone's got their own line of clothing. But to be honest, the quality can be hit or miss. This shirt shrunk the very first time that I dried it, and this one, the graphic, is already cracking. So, I'm gonna take things into my own hands. I need to find the best high quality shirts, ink that is going to last for years, and hopefully don't break the bank doing it myself. The reason I am even considering making my own t-shirts instead of farming it out is because Xtool came out with a screen printer at the end of last year. I bought it during their Kickstarter, so I paid for this with my own money, and I get to say whatever I want about it. But before I get to the screen printing, we need to find the right shirt. My personal favorite shirt is this one, and I wear it in all my videos. I bought it from the Full Draw Film Festival in 2020, and it's still in great shape. So I wanna see who made it. Looks like this shirt was made by Next Level. Now I do have other shirts in my closet that I like the feel of, so I'm gonna go check those out, see who they were made by, and get a little bit of a bigger sample size. So, out of my favorite t-shirts, it looks like actually about half of them are made by Next Level. So I'm gonna go with Next Level to make my merch with. Now I'm positive there are other great brands out there, so let me know down in the comments if there's a different brand of shirt that you particularly like. If you need just a couple of shirts, you can get them from Amazon, but if you want bulk, I was looking around on the screen printing subreddit, and it seemed like jiffy.com and alphabroder.com were mentioned quite a bit. When I was checking out their prices, alphabroder was a little bit cheaper than jiffy, but you need a business tax number, which luckily I have, so I'm gonna buy my shirts from alphabroder. Now that I have the shirts on order, I need to figure out what ink to use. Xtool makes ink specifically for their screen printer meshes, and it's not a bad price when you want a whole bunch of colors. The main downside for me is it doesn't have a long history, and they don't have instructions for heat curing the ink, and I really wanna make these shirts right. Now, typically, you need to heat water-based inks to around 320 degrees Fahrenheit for 30 seconds, but you need to make sure you don't use so much heat that you burn the shirt. Now Green Galaxy, which has been around a long time, they make a low temperature cure additive. So you add this into their ink and it will drop the cure temperature all the way down to 180 degrees Fahrenheit. This should be way easier for me to deal with. Granted, this is all hypothetical because I've never used that ink or the additive before. With my shirt and ink choices made, the next thing is the design. I want the Build It Make It logo on the front and the channel name on the back. The cool thing about the Xtool screen printer is instead of using emulsion and masking, curing and cleaning, you just use pre-coated screens and then laser etch the design in them. Xtool just came out with some new smaller frames and they're cheaper. They're nine by 12s compared to their 11 and a half by 16. Uh, everything that I'll be using, I'll have links down in the description. To set up for a new screen printing, all you have to do is place a wire mesh with the cardboard facing down inside a frame. You slide in some aluminum fixing pins and use the cams to apply the right amount of pressure. Then you can put it in your laser and engrave your design. This works both on my cheap 10 watt laser and on the 40 watt S1. I'm gonna go with the S1 because it's faster and ends up with better quality. All right, I've noticed a little bit of a problem. So I wanted to test out where I was gonna do the engraving at. So when I put on a test shirt with the nine by 12, I want my design to come down about three and three quarters. So it's a little bit above this line. I have over an inch. So we're perfectly fine to do the printing on the front, but if I look at the back, the problem is, is that the shirt, uh oh, we're cut. The shirt, it's way tighter or a lot higher on when I do the back printing. So if I line that up, I would really like it in the same area. So around three and three quarters down from the neck, which puts it about right here. Here, when I close the frame, uh, 
I can't print outside. So for the back, I'm going to have to switch to my larger frame and put the build it, make it uh, words or name. Whoa. And then it's well within the frame. In retrospect, I wish I would have bought the multicolor kit because it comes with four of the large frames. But luckily with the one large frame, I'm still gonna be able to do the back and then use the smaller frames on the front. While I was waiting for my shirts and supplies to arrive, I decided to do some tests with the nine by 12 frames and the squeegee that came with the X tool was not fitting in there very well. It could barely fit. And then when I kind of tried doing it, it was chattering. So I did a print to the side, squeegeeing to the side, and I don't think it turned out super well. So I cut off half an inch from either side. Now it fits really nice and the prints are coming out a lot better. My ink, Low Cure Additive and the shirts all came in and I have my logo engraved, so I'm ready to get printing. Instead of using the blue sticky mat that came with the screen printer, I'm gonna use some water-based palette adhesive to attach the t-shirts. I just don't wanna be messing around with the blue mat during mass production in case it shifts on me. Now, let's make some merch. Okay. I've got a couple of issues going on here. The screen mesh is giving me some problems in resolving some fine detail because it is only a hundred mesh. Honestly, this probably is my printing skill more than the mesh, but in the extruded part of the logo, the non-printed portion is really thin and this is causing the black ink to touch on the print and I don't think it looks very good. To fix this, I need to make sure in my design, there are no features that are less than say half a millimeter. So I need to modify that. In addition, the alignment seems hard to get right. I thought by having everything perfectly aligned on the laser, I wouldn't need to do registration marks like in normal screen printing. Granted, I could be loading the t-shirt wrong, but if I do some registration marks, then if I have alignment issues, I'll know that it's my loading. Since I have this shirt, I'm gonna test my curing process to make sure that goes well. Then I'm going to make another screen and try again. happy with how these shirts turned out. I think they look super cool and I had a blast figuring out how to make them. There was definitely a learning curve making my own merch and I'm not 100% sure this is how I'll do all of it in the future. But if you want a first edition handmade shirt, head on over to my Etsy shop. If you're interested in learning more about what lasers can do, check out this video. Thanks so much for watching and take care.